Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's G from Happiness and Crafting. So today is a Friday freebie day and we are on 105. So today I have a little project for you. It is a little sort of tuck book. So these are the pages um, and this is um, to hold the pages in and these turn into like little tucks. Um, so I will show you what I mean. Um, I've made two and we're going to make another one together. So go off and print this off uh, and then come back and then you can make one along with me. So I'm going to show you how what they look like. So here we are. I have two of them here and they are just gorgeous. So this one, um, I haven't got the tuck in the front, but this one I have made the little tuck in the front like that. Um, and it just I just love them. What I've used to um, embellish them um, on these and on the inside like these are some of my embellishments which I've shrunk down quite small. I think I've got like four lots to a page um, and these are I'll pop the, the link to all the little kits that I've used um, either along the video or under the video but I think these just fit in there perfectly. So you've got little little tuck spots in there. Um, and they are gorgeous so it just you've got four pages and you've got little tucks and I just love them so you've got your journaling there journal on the back of that and they are small enough to pop into a little pocket in a journal you could put photographs in there um, it's a lovely little gift for happy mail um, and I just think they are gorgeous so this one I didn't put the tuck in there I've just popped a little bit of cheesecloth this one's got a little tuck in I've got little memories on there and I love them now on the back I've just printed um, on the back of the paper just some tea stainy sort of like type paper um, and this one is um, off one of my other kits backing paper off one of my other kits but I will let you know which one that is so you can just print on the back whatever you like um, but I love them I think they are really really lovely little embellishments in there so it's a nice one if you wanted to send somebody some nice little embellishments that you've got um, something that you've made you can pop in there so I'm going to show you how quick and simple it is to make pop those over there now I've got them cut out ready um, I've done them like this so these are the edges and this is the bit that we stick onto onto the um, page so we've got this like that what I'm going to do we need to fold the line so I'm just going to fold the middle one first because I find that easiest to do now again you can score down them if you've got scoreboard but you don't have to you can just fold these now I'm going to fold them all the same way first and then bend them back the other way like that now I've printed the grungy rose on the back of this and I think it looks really really nice so let's just bend these on here so really you just need to sort of like concertina this um, down I broke my nails I can't I don't really have the nails to to um, make it go flat so push that down like that so that's one side and let's do this side I didn't print on this bit because that's the bit you don't see that anyway so I didn't think we don't want to waste our ink do we so no point in printing the piece that we're going to stick over and then you know which bit to um, stick onto as well so it's a little bit easier as well to do so let's just concertina these up like that. I've printed onto 160 GSM paper. Um, so just use whatever you got, whatever you have. So that's it. So now I'm just going to fold it up. So concertina it up like that. Okay. Make sure it's all nice and flat. So that is what we've got. Little concertina like that. Right. So turn it over. Um, and I'm going to just get some, some glue and then we want to glue these like that together either one like that so they stick together okay so I'm going to glue down here just a little bit I've got a little bit of tacky glue in there so let's oopsie daisy let's squash that one down 
And then we want to do this one on here. Like that, squash that one down. Hold that down. Get the glue on there. And then a little bit, so just glue four of them all turn it. A little bit on glue. Enough glue so it was gonna stay in place. Now let's just squash that down. Okay. And then that's what you have. You have this little shape like that. Okay. And then what we're going to do, we're going to take our four little cards. So we've got the lovely um, paper on the back, which looks really, really pretty. Now, it doesn't really matter which one goes first, um, but I'm going to sort of alternate them. So you've got the little flowers on there, and then you've got the little line, then the little flowers. So I'm going to put this one on the front. So what we want to do, have it like this, and I want to glue this. Now, if you don't want to use them as a tuck spot, and you just want to sort of like glue them in, um, glue all of this down. But if you want it as a tuck spot, I'm going to just get some glue out, glue along this bit, top and bottom, and along this edge, just down through here. And then we'll take our first card and we will pop it in there like that. Okay, push that down and then do the same along the bottom and down the side like that. Take our second card, pop it on. Oops, it wasn't very level, was it? There we go. And just fold that down. Hold that in there. Oops. Like that. And then we will take our last one and do the same. Like this. And then we'll pop this one on the top. Like that. Oops. Make sure we're all nice and level. Perfect. And there we have our little book. Isn't that lovely? So you can't see the, the you can sort of like see a little bit of it folded there. But if you wanted to, you can just go over that just with a little bit of ink, um, which looks lovely. And then we've got our little book. So you just open this up like this. And we've got our little four pages on there. So it's a fabulous little book and I'm loving it. Now I've got a big bunch of all my little cutouts here, little odd ones that I have um, which I've cut out and all sorts of things. So what shall we have? I've got all sorts of things. Oh look, should we have dream? Should we put this on there? We could have a little tuck spot. We can have a tuck or I might even just stick it over the top on this one don't have to, you can have it as a tuck. But I'm going to put that on there. Let's have a little bit of cheesecloth. Let's stick the cheesecloth on first. So just get whatever embellishments you have, little journaling cards, little bits of scrap paper, anything you've got and just embellish them, which I think is really, really lovely. I absolutely love these. Um, so it's another one to go into your journals as well. And it's I like them because they're little um, and they will just fit in perfect. Just slot in a little pocket. I might actually put use some of these in my um, July calendar journal as well because I think they will look lovely. If I've got a couple of pictures on here. I've got a couple of little, little Sophia there and some of my little plants. So these would be lovely, wouldn't they? If you had a little booklet and you pop in, I've got glue stuck on there. 
some little pictures in there would look good, wouldn't it? So I might pop those, um, pop these into my calendar journal. Shall we have dream? That matches quite nicely, doesn't it? Oops, and pick it up. Nice blob of glue on there. Love them. Let's look at that. Isn't that just so pretty? And then what we want to do is shake, just take a little bunch of these. You can have as many as you want tucked in there. I'm not sure which way around that one goes, like that. And then you can still write on the top of this or stick something on there. What shall we have? A little round one there. And then I've got my little one of the cut down, um, not cut down, shrunk down little tags on there. That can go in and then this one can go in on top. And look at that. Doesn't that look so cute? Like that. Love it. Absolutely love it. You could tie a little bit of ribbon around there and have a little bow. You could have a little paper clip on there to hold it together. But I think that in a journal or popped into a little envelope to one of your pen pals or a little extra is a happy mail or something like that. I think they look so, so pretty. So there we go, guys. That is your Friday freebie for this week. So that's a lovely little one to make. Super simple to do. Um, and I'm loving it. So if you don't want it to, you don't have to print on the back. You can have that left white and you can ink it and stamp it. Um, however you want to do but I just love them and they are really really simple so there we go guys thank you so much for joining me um, have a fantastic weekend um, I hope you can get a little bit of crafting in I hope you have time to make this so remember to print this off um, because they're not always on the Facebook group so remember to print it off and keep it somewhere safe or download it onto one of your devices and and keep it there ready to use whenever you need to all right, guys, thank you so much. Take care, have a fantastic weekend, and I will see you soon. All right, guys, bye-bye. Mm -hmm.